Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Week of the DLC. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Karoj. Join always my co host, Dan Work. Congratulations. And Dan Link. Hit or miss. And I bet they never miss. Um, if you're not familiar with what we do, we can do each and every episode of uh, podcasting services of your choice, whether it be Podcast, Apple, Apple, uh, what was it, iTunes, I was like, Apple Care, Apple Pie, Apple Pie, uh, Spotify. <laughs> Spotify, Stitcher, you know, all the just a laundry list. Witcher. Witcher, Stitcher. Um, we, we usually sit around a table like this. We talk about movie stuff, comics, games, movies, kind of movies in between. We each come with a topic. We go around the table. We have some fun. We have fun. This is episode 132. We're very close to my favorite. 69 plus 64. Which one like that? Matt's almost there. It's episode 69. <laughs> the comeback. <laughs> oh, my King Prediction. Come on, Ernie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, that, I mean, if this is your first episode, welcome aboard. Hope you have fun. This isn't. Run Enjoy the ride. Run, 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 run down. down. <laughs> to that review page and give us a nice review. <laughs> and give us a review. <laughs> Um, I want to start this episode by asking how you guys are week this week. That's not true. So I said the topics. topics. You said whatever you want. That's Behind true. the scenes. That's true. That's true. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, I finished Evangelion, or Evon. Congratulations. Or Avon. Um, For the glory of mankind. So that's including know. end of Avon. No. No, that's, I'm never going to watch it. You that. haven't completed it. It doesn't matter. You're not complete, you but that's two different things, though. No. So the endings are completely different. No. It's a compliment. It's supposed to be a compliment. Congratulations. Just so things. what you saw, the TV show, is in his mind. Correct. The end of Ava shows what is happening outside. Okay. It's true. So I would only, like, obviously if I make a review or if I talk about the ending, it'll be what's in his mind. And what I believe what I believe to have happened outside of it. But I don't know if you guys want to talk about it now or if you guys want to make it a... Do you like it? We, are, we can go into it. I like it. Yeah? He must have liked it because he didn't watch the end of it. That's my Because <laughs> if you were not happy, you would watch can it. Can I tell you what I think happened at the end? You're not going to get it. It's <laughs> Well, no, this is like... The way I see it is like this is everyone's point of view. Okay. Because from my understanding is people believe that at the end of, of just the TV series, the world doesn't end or whatever. But I take it as it is, it has ended. Like the decision he made caused the world to end and it's him coming to the realization like I, I wasn't finished living. So he's like, it does this inner monologue thing where he's like trying to like reason with himself like it is over. And so by accepting himself, he accepts that everything's over essentially is how I take it. <laughs> so I mean that's that's what I took it as, um, but very weird. Um, obviously, it's like the last three are just like, the fuck is this shit going? What is going on right now? Uh, so yeah, I mean I I recommend watch up until like you know twenty two. So twenty two, that's all you need to do. Really. Oh, you don't um, recommend it? No, I mean, no, I'm kidding. And you, you gotta watch the whole thing to really know what's going on. Um, I watched the boys. Really, really good. I liked it a lot. Um, fucking diabolical. <laughs> uh, he, he uses cunt a lot and fucking... Carl Urban? Yeah. yeah he says that a lot. Um, I saw what was happening like later on, like after, like what, episode five, I think. I realized, eight episodes. Like, yeah, episode five, I realized like what is happening. Like what, for Carl Urban specifically. Um, and then I love, like, the ending for me, it's like, I don't really need another season. Like, it ends, what? It, I, well, it, it ends to the point where it's like, it is way too abrupt. Way too cliffhanger. Honestly, it is like, yeah, it is a cliffhanger, but like, the thing is, was, the, the whole idea is, this guy's doing something for some reason. Yeah. And it, that shattered for him, essentially. And that's, I mean, like, I don't know, I just, it's funny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm already, yeah. I, I think they already like released a shot of it or whatever. The picture, yeah. Yeah, picture. Um, but yeah, I, I really liked it, and yeah, if it more comes out, I'll watch it. 
the thing I noticed was at the start of the show, it focuses on like one or two characters as sort of like the introduction to this world that they have. By the halfway point of that show, I cared almost nothing about those characters, and I cared about all the other characters much more. Like, the main two being Huey, he's this guy who kind of enters this world of the, these and under the boys and, and, the, and the, the butcher and um, the superheroes. And then the girl, Starlight, is like, uh, she's applying to be a superhero officially. And like, say, not to say their stories aren't compelling, but like, the stories of Butcher, Carl Urban's character, and Homelander, and like, all the, the villains and heroes of this world, just fucking, everyone's fucked up. And it's very interesting. It's kind of like, I, like in some degree, like how Game of Thrones paints characters in very gray ways. There are elements of each of these characters. You're like, oh, there's compassion for this person at this moment, but at the same time, there's like, because of your complacency or because of your arrogance or because of something in another aspect of your life, I'm like, oh, there's a shitty side to you too. And it's like, it's, and then they crank it up. They just like, yeah. You know, What's funny is that they do use like, there's scenes where like. You, you, Huey specifically, you know, and, and, and obviously um, Butcher already has that, but like, it's like, don't care for certain people, like, mm -hmm. just don't give a shit for them. And then the, you find out, like, oh, this person has a kid, and immediately it's like, oh, but, 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 like, it's like, you, it throws a yeah, it. yeah, it tries to, but like, I just think it's like weak just to do that, like, by yeah. saying, like, oh, had a kid, yeah. that, that's already like the reasoning for, you know, all these to forgive or whatever. I'm but, hoping when they do the next season, it's a longer season, because I felt like. I appreciate those stories, but like things went really fast. Like, yeah. Like, boom, 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 boom. Well, I take it as like it's it's a new thing that, that Amazon picked up, and sure. they're probably like, we don't want to like we don't like, send the shit out of this. You know, we're worried it's not going to do well. So, so I'm apparently, hoping, yeah. apparently the creator of the show was said there's only, like for all the violence and graphic and disturbing and weird shit that they filmed, he said there was only one thing he idea he had that they shot down. He's like, you know what? I'll call that a win. It's like I gotta work with a lot of weird shit. Yeah. But he went into detail of like what that would have been like, and they filmed it, and I was like, "Involved Homelander." It's very weird. There's a a, a scene where uh, they go in like in a uh, I wouldn't like to say like an underground area, and it's where certain like people can do like a lot of things without like. Uh, and there's a, the miniature dude who's just like running. You're like, what's happening? That's that's early. Funny scene for me. <laughs> I think it, think I don't know if you if it's if you remember it. I don't know if it, if it was in the card, but think of what people have been saying that man should do to Thanos, but in a fun way. Mm. <laughs> 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 Did you hear anything else? Um what else did I do? Uh, I did something else, I don't remember actually anymore. Games. Fuck them. No games? No, I haven't really been playing. Classic. Yeah. Classic. 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 That's what I'm like, I can tell you right now, that's exactly what I'm waiting for. What does it come out? Uh, this, the end of this month. Oh, so, Monster Hunter's not going to be playing. Well, that's in September, I still got time. End of this month. No, well, that. It's literally like a week later. That's fine, I got a week later. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lose it. Yeah, I, I feel like they're going to lose me. Capcom's like. Get in the robot. <laughs> get, get in the hundred. <laughs> no, but I, I I don't think I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like classic. But like my subscription ends in like two months, so I have like a, essentially a month's worth when it comes out. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not my fault. You can't buy. Where you put the money? Stop it. It's his choice. <laughs> You're calling your coworker. <laughs> He's trying to get you to play. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, I, yeah, I don't think I've done anything else. Um, okay. I, I feel like I watched a movie, but I talked about Sean. Yeah, well, we watched a lot of movies last week. Um, uh, I'm interested in watching uh, Carnival Row, which is another Netflix. Is it coming out soon? Uh, I, I thought it was Peace out. Right? Yeah, I think oh, it was shit. Um, and then uh, Woo Assassins is on Netflix, mm -hmm. but I still have, like, I don't know. It's, I, I like the, the talent in it. I don't know if I like the presentation. You haven't seen it? I watched the trailer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, the talent was what attracted yeah. me. And then I saw the trailer. Yeah, yeah, the trailer was like. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. January 4th. 
Visage. Stressful. Which we'll get into. Visager? So, I've been like trying to like do different strategies on streaming. Got two days. No, not for me. And so, I've been going to PewDiePie route. We're going to play scary games maybe like two, two times a week. And it was like one of my most successful streams, like on Twitch, like a lot of viewers. So, we're playing Visage, which is a spiritual successor to PT. And you gotta play with n the nightlight time, dude. No, no regular lights, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> what is there? What's the promise? You're a dude investigating murders. So there's like weird murders that happened, and like the ghosts, they're restless. Oh, visage. Um, but it's, you know, it, it has a lasting impression because I'm streaming other games now, not Visage, and I hear things. And I'll, I'll look behind me and then I'll explain, like, dude, I just heard something in the back. Because it, during the game, you hear stuff. As you walk by a room, you just hear, like, stuff, like, in the room. You're just like, fuck, dude. Like, it's just, it's very atmospheric. It's, I mean, uh, Game Informer, the cat. <laughs> Game Informer had a really good, there's a dude that plays scary games said it's the scariest game he's ever played and hands down he, like he wasn't sure because he's only it's early access it's been in early access for a long time um, i played it in october for halloween and the first time i played it sweat i never stopped sweating i was just sweating <laughs> the whole time just constant sweat you gotta get like a harder mind right? i know that's what someone told me um playing it the second time um not sweating but this feeling of dread, this 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 weird feeling of dread, and like it's hard. It's hard to explain until you you're immersed in it. And like people have said, like I don't know how people play in VR. Like you yeah, that's got, the thing. Like with VR too, like yeah, you, you have to be, you have to play it to understand VR. Yeah, you do die. The people have said you would die playing in VR. Like, hard to exactly. Dude, like I'm actually not looking forward to playing. I beat chapter two. So skip chapter one, went straight to chapter two. Yeah, and it tells you like you're gonna activate chapter two. And you wanna? Are you sure? You know, you know, I could go back to chapter one. But when uh, when it's fully released, they just yeah, I didn't worry about it. You would have you know just everything. Though. Settings max brightness. <laughs> I don't think that helps. <laughs> you know it's funny because like when I was playing it, like you know the ghost would just, you turn on light. You, if you if it's dark, you lose your sanity, and more crazy shit happens. So you'll turn on the light and you'll walk in the room and then the ghost will turn off the light. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? You go back and turn on the light again. I, I've seen like some of your cuts where uh, you're like, the lights are turning off and you like run around and you start walking backwards and all of a sudden like as you leave the hallway, the light in the hallway turns on again. And you're just like, fucking man. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of times where like, so the best, oh my god, dude. So I had to go downstairs, right? I look down and there's a figure. And that was the very first jump scare. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, there's a lot of times where like you have to progress and you see a figure there. Oh, and, and, and so the, chapter two is about the grandma that killed her baby. Um, there's a scene where like I turn on the light and it doesn't work. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I, I put on my lighter and the lighter goes out. And you see her run naked. I was like, oh my god, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me, dude? You just see a figure run past. It was just, <laughs> so it's like, it's fucking uh, so there's a lot of moments where it, you, there's a lot of moments where you see me walk towards something, something happens. Like, oh, <laughs> that baby died. That. <laughs> so yeah, it's been getting, getting me views. So we're just gonna play scary games. Uh, I I want to change my so like you know how I said that yeah I don't care about getting baby. You know what now is the time. I got inspired by watching a, a documentary about hundred thieves and like I really want to. Make an empire. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I want to make some the brand. I want to make the brand the Lost Bosses. So I need to do something drastic. I need to change some things, and it's not working. But the scary game thing, the PewDiePie effect. I think my work is doing it. Anything else? The Apex. We got one movie caught. The solo thing, right? And then I'm playing near chipping away still for the brother of my kind. Oh, that's what I'm going to tell you. The, the solo thing on Apex, it's not permanent right now. No, oh, it's just a like, time on Which I don't understand. It's going to be permanent. I think it'll come. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, it's coming back. Permanent. And we're like, oh. So we got to make that happen. Here I'm at. 
What's the last boss you fought? It was a side quest. It was hard. It was a robotic, robotic moose. Yeah, that's it's, it, was <laughs> it was funny because <laughs> I was like, no, 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 it was funny because I feel like the game's not hard, and then I'm like, wait, there's all these dead. Why? This is not hard. I got wrecked by this moose like twice. <laughs> Vengeance for my people. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm at a very low level, dude. Like I'm like level twenty something, and the moose was at level forty. Yeah, it took me like thirty minutes to kill this moose. Sounds like last week. Last week you had that a was similar a story. Master Servo. I yeah. can't beat him. Like it would take me an hour if I were to try. I don't know what you're doing. Cyclists. <laughs> you I know, but like it wasn't that way. For, like I didn't remember. I had, yeah. Like, I remember seeing resistance, but it was because I wasn't utilizing chips. And mm -hmm. then once I did that, it was like pretty normalized. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. At a point where I. Oh, I just beat two way. First form, but I think you're supposed to lose her. The aliens. So I went to the aliens, and the aliens are dead. The two ones? I just. This, I went inside the spaceship, and there's all these dead aliens. And they're like, oh, the aliens are dead. And there's two girl. guys? There was two guys, but then there was also a girl. And I fought the girl and with long hair. Two way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the last place. Okay. I don't remember the order, but. I don't even know where. I just want you to get to the end and play through my. Side to me, side to me. Stop, dude. <laughs> well, I, 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 sure I, I think this massage. Is that what you said? Visage. Visage. I'm wondering, like, you, you said this, like, ghosts will do crazy shit. Could you imagine. I don't know if it'd be like an MMO, but like imagine everyone has like a Dark Souls or Bloodborne style game where it's just like them. And like they can choose to leave it open to people coming into their game and playing the ghosts and fucking with them. And adding more elements of randomly. Like, okay, I played through this level, there's gonna be like two computer ghosts, but like someone could just randomly come in and add another element of like suspense. That's I and mean, you know what, now that you just said it, it's probably already it's not there. There. Yeah. Next, next, next week, week is, they're gonna call this is VGA is it's gonna be announced. <laughs> anything else? You haven't been reading? I have, but I didn't finish anything. I've just been reading short stories from uh, Joe Hill's 20th Century Ghost, but I gotta start again. It's alright. It's not strange weather was better. It's alright. Mm -hmm. Gotta finish the full throttle and make the reviews. Push it in. Hook it, hook it up with the book. Please. Hey, but review the book though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't review for this. <laughs> cool. Uh, for me, I got something to show you guys. Uh, is it Destiny? Is sure. It's, he's going to sell us rap DVDs. The Destiny shirt. Hmm. Do we have an idea? I don't know what this is. I feel Ooh. like you get congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, we should have put the picture in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Damn! That's what I choose. <laughs> it's nice. pretty cool. Is it? Oh, you is did it. Is this nice. the same, same place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo. Tournament. Tournament fighters. Who wins? What do we win? Ownership of me for a day? Anything in request? <laughs> Got my fucking picture. I <laughs> just realized it. I'm just solving. Custom meat? It took fucking forever. It took me all week to make these. Oh, wow. Well, you made one for your custom ones. Yeah, right. I had to keep every one was unique because I just swap them out. I'm like, wait, wait, I gotta remake this thing. Oh, <laughs> so the and picture has the square there already. So you didn't, you didn't it's always that corner yeah. is the player yeah. one. Yeah. So I keep changing. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'll just turn out to do it. Yeah, so these are cards for uh, a birthday gathering I'm going to be having nice. for viewers to know that we should be quiet here. Can customize it with my name on there, man? <laughs> you can't say the tournament? Um, I will. As a gift. I, I want to know who's doing it because I don't like. I made it an optional thing. He doesn't want and to be able to practice. Okay. And I know, I know certain people, like if certain people are playing, I'm going to make it a little bit more broader, like Mario Kart mm -hmm. is pretty broad. But if it's like the people that I know, they're all very competent, like 
much more confident in video games, I'll ch I'll maybe change the game. Let's put handicap. Put my health to like twenty five percent. Highest horn is Tetris. Dang, yo. <laughs> I already lost seconds now. Um, so what I did was I made these cards for, for viewers to know. It's like the Street Fighter II um, character select screen, but with all the, the playable characters mm -hmm. uh, that might be attending. <laughs> um, yeah, that I legit was trying to like, okay, I got Photoshop. I'm going to try to set up some layers. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I was just like, this is going to take longer to learn how to do this and like crop out. I was like, all right, phone. I did like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It was super quick. I've done things on these that I've never done on a phone for photo editing. Yeah. I was literally doing Photoshop with a, with a Gimp Pass free app. <laughs> I was like, all right, eight layers, it caps you at 10, save this one. This is now my base for the next version, and then I'll iterate on that, and this is my template, and toss that. Base layer, reuse this, I can cut. I was like, that's one card. <laughs> so fuck. But I feel like. Did you end up doing it to where you did all that for one card and after that you could just swap? Uh, sort of, okay. but I still had to do templates because uh -huh. even when I had that, it didn't have the new layout mm -hmm. for the next person. So I had to like, I was like, which ones can I reuse? And then I, I eventually figured out a structure to work. It just took forever because finding photos for everyone, you guys, some people are more easy to find photos of. I was like, I got, and they're good quality photos. Other people, I was like, Man, all these are fuzzy, low res, or not by themselves, they're like group shots and stuff. You should just run in and be like, hey you, stop. <laughs> I almost did one of them. And they came over and I was like, I should just like snap a photo and be like, right, I, got I don't um, need you anymore. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I spent a lot of the week doing that. And then, but I was in that artsy crafting mood of doing that. So I made um, a couple of polos. I, I did a few before I did some more. I have a curvy one. I have a Godzilla one, more color one, and my X one. Yeah. Self branded Kirby. Branding. Kirby, your enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I had people, I was like, where'd you get that shirt? I was like, I made it. <laughs> Branding. Branding. So I started selling it. Dude, you should do the, the, the uh, One Punch Man, Glass Bosses, just self branded. Or that. <laughs> um, so I, did, I made those. Um, and then I also got some paints and um, I got some miniatures because our, our Pathfinders group, we nearly all died. Like, we were in this fucking zombie area and it was like the end of a dungeon and we're like entering it and there was this thing in the back corner and one of our friends who just joined our group just fucking runs in there, blasts him with an arrow, 15 damage, blasts him with a second arrow, kills him, but not before he pulls this lever. And like I'm like I'm gonna stay next to him to support him, and so we're de we're separated from the group in this long hallway in this dungeon area. The, like the group's at the, the entrance and we're over here. All of a sudden, eleven zombies are in this room, and they're each hurting us. Like we're near death after each encounter. We're like fuck, we're split up. Like there's like eight of these things in between us. I am the bard, so I'm a bard and a gunslinger. So I'm the whole time I'm like trying to inspire everyone by buffing their roles. Yeah. But I'm like, if the thing with zombies is, if I do anything that's like provoking, like a movement or a weapon of some sort, it provokes them. And so in addition to their attack turn, they're attacking me when I attack. So I was like, wait, I, I, they entrusted me with this wand for healing. Like this wand is like a healing item. It has like 50 uses. Mm -hmm. Apparently that didn't provoke. And healing on zombies hurts them. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like whipping the wand out. I'm like, I'm going to fucking Avada Kedavra, and that didn't provoke because I'm just like, it's, da, da, da. and like, everyone's dying. Like, one of them was like, stop healing me, like, it's gonna do nothing, like, yeah. get, like, I'm dead. And like, when you die, you faint, and then if they get you to a negative amount, then you're gone, gone. Mm -hmm. And the friend that went with the arrow and shot, he was like, devouring. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> right off. Everyone else is like unconscious, trying to, we were down to one, and I did one last shot and I killed it, and then we were able to like get everyone else up. You yeah, revive. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But like, I play, I wrote, I, cause I, my character, I write down everything that happens to the group, like a, mm, like. Like a journal? Yeah, sort of. But I'm like trying to be, be in character. And I looked at it, I'm like, 
we like there was maybe one thing that if that didn't happen, I would have been dead too. I was like, what the fuck? I think he was trying to kill us all. I was like, I was ready for like all of us to roll new characters and everything. But I was like, wait, how much did I, did I get all the XP? He's like, no, everyone gets the XP. I'm like, God damn it. Dude, we've been playing for like two years now, almost two years. We're barely level two. Yeah, it's how it works, dude. But like, it's only, it's because we play one, like during lunch, so it's like an hour at the most. Yeah. If we were playing like four hours, we would have been like way harder. I have like a, uh, a group of friends that play D and D, and they all died like before they reached level thirty, and they've been playing for a year or so. So, that, so I was like, I want to make miniatures because we're borrowing one, or I, everyone else's. I made mine. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to work on painting more, and at the same time, I was like, you know what? If I pick, if I find good miniatures, I'll give them. And if it's of my friends, I'll give it to them, and they can use it. So I found some of some of my friends, so I was like working on them. Um, so I did that, and then I really played, I've been playing Pokemon a lot. Uh, and then Pokemon Go on me. And then um, finally today was the first day I started playing Destiny, because I was like, I needed a week off after grinding one set of armor, I was like, I'll start. Um, and we, oh, we started watching Glow. <coughs> Very good show. Oh wait, season, season three's up. You're watching from the beginning, or no, no? We're on season three now. It just came out, so we'll let's jump on. We'll like a few episodes. Of it's Thirty minutes an episode. So I'm gonna... nice. uh, yeah. So there's that, and uh, yeah, let's get into topics. Let's do it. So speaking of Pokemon Go, uh, the war so I know like Evo happened, Fortnite, you know, giant competition recently happened, but uh, Pokemon World Championships is coming around uh, mid to end of August. It's like this weekend or the next. And this is, they've announced that this is the first time they're holding a Pokemon Go invitation. And like, the c company is like recognizing, it's been like doing like grassroots style tournaments up until now, where they're making their own moves up. This is the first time they're like recognizing on, a, on their own stage, and I was like, oh shit. Like I know Clash Royale, I know some of these other games about that stuff, but to see this tap game that like barely had any game mechanics become a competitive game like that, for, like surprised me. So I kind of wanted to ask, my topic being, if there was a game that doesn't have any sort of competitive scene that you would like to see something on, uh, what would what game would it be, and like, do you have any idea of like what it would even look like? That could be honest. Yes, you want me to start? I can uh, just like a quick thing. So okay. I found a little tough for this topic because I feel like most things that I would consider like enjoyable and competitive for me yeah. already have like. Right. Yeah. So, the first thing I could think of was Metal Slug. Like, I don't know why games don't do this. Like, similar to like Tetris, because Tetris, Tetris was a single player game, and the way it became competitive was who can get the better score. So then it would it would be similar to I, old school, high scores. School. Yeah, yeah, just high scores, yeah, exactly like that. But like, yeah, back in the day, that's how it was in arcade cabinets. You know, it was whoever had high scores. But now it's like we're transitioning back to like you know we have it on a console. Um, I know Switch has Metal Slug on there, and it, it's not like a high score thing, but yeah. you know you can say it, it'll still register a score there. For yeah, you. I think like I mean leaderboards. That, that's what I would think of, and like you could have it be over mm -hmm. a series of challenges. Yeah. But I think like having a live leaderboard, like give us your best score on the stage yeah. now. Like that could be interesting. Live so, like, live leaderboards. I'm thinking speedrun. Necrodancer, like tournament, because it has a time, so how you, uh, how fast you beat the game, so I don't know, have like 20 players play it at the same time. It doesn't matter if they start at the same time because it goes, it records the time anyways. Not, so. not that it's a negative thing, but isn't there like RNG just involved? Because the layout of the level is different every time. Yeah. So okay, I take that back. <laughs> There's a thing in uh, Necrodancer where you can, um, wow. after you beat it. Um, there's like a map code, so okay. someone has a map code, so everyone plays that same map yeah. code, and then yeah, yeah. so it's it's same. Okay. Yeah, or yeah, or just do that. For me, fucking bosses. Speed, speed runs. I don't know, like thirty player speed runs, but it would only work for games that have a time a timer in because it's gonna have it's gonna be hard for people to start at the same time unless someone's like there's a judge. Yeah, stop watching them. Yeah. I think like the where I've seen the closest to that is um, Twitch two head to head. 
Oh, I didn't think of, no, I was thinking of the Nintendo World Championships. Because oh, right. they've done makeshift ways of like doing that. Like they've done the Mario Kart, in the, like, you know, qualifier. They did like the Breath of the Wild. They were like, you're going to do this mi little mini game and like best time on that mini game gets it or something. And I was like, oh, okay. And that was sort of like what, they it had an in-game timer, like what you're saying. Yeah. Um, and then, oh yeah, there was a part where it was like, all right, everyone has to do this level one. Tropical Freeze, Dr. Kong. And it was like wrecking a bunch of people. Completionist, I think, was in there. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I was kind of thinking, I, I was thinking speedruns, I was thinking like some of these other games where it's like how, like every game that could already has, like fighting games are the main genres, shooting games are another big genre, um, MMOs to some degree, like WoW has some sort of element of that. So I was trying to think of like, okay, what, what else? And one game that I thought of, I was like, okay, the sports games have them, I believe. Maybe not as prominently as some, but like Madden has it. Some, some. I would love to see a pro wrestling video game actually have a competitive scene. And it, it could be like framed in terms of presentation just like a pro wrestling event. Like the players would come out with like intros, like there would be shout casters, like, my God, title <laughs> Matt, and, like, and have a season yeah. and everything. I'm like, the guy comes out with a head and that's it. Gong and everything. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, it, it would be, I guess, less serious. I don't know how much skill is involved in the current slot of video games. Mm -hmm. It might also be dependent on like how well supported that game is, because it's one of those annualized sort of things. Mm -hmm. So that could be a thing. But that was one of the games that was like, it'd be fun to watch. Like as a viewer, right. I could enjoy that. Like I don't need to like, what, what combos is he got? Like, I don't know how he's playing like that. Yeah. And I think in terms of rule sets, what it would be would be everyone makes a creative character, but there's correct like rules. Like you can't but like have the X number of stats above this. Um, you can't do thousands of moves. I don't know. There would be there would have to be some control yeah. over that. Yeah. But that was one. I, I don't know. Did you guys have any other ones? Uh, another one that uh, kind of just popped in is. Um, because you brought Breath of the Wild up, uh, the, they have uh, shield surfing. Mm -hmm. So, like, they have specific uh, areas, you know, and, and kind of timing. Like X Games? Yeah, X Games with shield surfing. Um, and you can even do obstacle courses, you know, like, as you're, like, skiing, like, skiing down, you have to, like, shoot certain mm -hmm. things down and stuff like that. Um, and I feel like if Nintendo really got into it, they can set up these courses, you know, like, set up, like, the specific levels. But if it's just community driven, it would more likely just be, like, the time and speed. Um, and people can time it because, like, as long as you have a recorded video, yeah. you know, someone can time it the moment, like, the moment he passes this line and starts, you know, sure. it just goes kind of thing. So, I think that'd be really cool is having, like, uh, some of that. So, you mentioned, like, obstacle courses and, like, being able to make. Um, we, got, we, got another, we got another Nintendo boy that you can make obstacle courses for Mario Maker. <laughs> I thought, I'm like, would, like, okay. I feel like there is a competitive scene in that, though. It's not no, like it's a, more of like a challenge, and, yeah. and, a, and like, they, they, they go for world records. So what my thought was sort of like what you were saying with the, the high score thing. Everyone comes with, like, five levels that they've made, and then they have to challenge, they have to successfully, it's like a penalty shootout, kick shootout. You have to successfully complete other people's levels or get far, see who gets the farthest. And at the same time, the more people that, then you, they would like try your level. You'd be like, I, I want would, them. Just like a, a small thing is, I would love to have help, uh, live limits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that was the other thing. I, w I wouldn't have it be like endless. Yeah. Before in a live event, I'd be like, you get like 10 tries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't have like a small number. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sure. say like 100 lives. But like some of these levels could like fuck you over immediately. You're like, yeah. two lives are already, already gone. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, depending on the level, like, but I, I just don't want them to be able to like learn small things in between. Like the the main idea is to to beat the level or get to the end of the level, you know. And then from there, like if you have like you can use all your lives. So even if though you beat the level like on your first life, mm -hmm. you can play it again and this time try to get like more points, more points from that. So you can kind of increase, possibly um, kind of thing. I do. Yeah. I think that would be. That'd be interesting. I'd, I'd be curious to see how they could turn it into sort of like yeah. competition. But I wouldn't want to be like a like a trihex where like he's perfecting a jump and he dies in the same like spot like ten times just because he wants to get that jump perfect. 
Like that, I, obviously that's something I don't want. Like you said, repetitiveness on that. Same I mean, area. That, that it's like an iterative process, though. Like that's how Mario Maker levels you overcome them. Is like, okay, wait. The guy died two times to this. Yeah. How, how, did, how did that happen? So I wouldn't go like three lives. I feel like that's too short. Mm -hmm. uh, I would, if I did shorter lives, I would do more parameters on what you could do in yeah. creating the world. So maybe it's like just like only use original Super Mario. That could limit some of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and the last thing, I don't know if there's even, a, like, there, there probably already is something, but, like, EVE Online, like, large-scale sort of, like, warfare kind of stuff would be interesting. I don't yeah. know. I was just kind of curious. I was like, what even, what could happen? What even? What even? <laughs> I did think a little bit about Monster Hunter, but, like, there's already someone. But it's there's, not official, though. They That's do the cool. arena stuff. That seems to be where they do it. It's like... Tr trial, like time trial. Sure, and then, then you have like... And it's like you get in squads, you get like, alright, this duo was going to attempt this. And then you yeah. have events, right? Like, yeah. Where it's an official, like, we'll recognize whoever the top yeah. team is, or top team. So I was like, okay, they already got something, so... That's true. That was my time. Nice. I'll go ahead. Uh, mine was... So last time I talked about um, Ninja and, and Mixer, um, but now let's talk about Ninja and Twitch. So since he's moved on to Mixer, <laughs> um, so since he moved on to Mixer, um, he no longer has essentially a channel on Twitch. But his URL to Twitch now goes to. Well, I mean, he, he has, does. He has. He's not. A, he's not affiliated. Anymore. He has his channel. It's just not. But when you go to his channel, it doesn't even. Sh it literally just shows recommended videos. I mean, they changed it. I think back to. His actual channel, it shows his, his old old vods now. Um, but the the reason, like the, the the whole thing happened, was when you went to his channel. If you went to Twitch TV slash Ninja, it, it said this person's in another castle. I right? think they said this ninja's in another castle, and then um, it it literally recommended you other Fortnite streams. Uh, is what happened. So and and I think Ninja at the time it, it was like whatever, it doesn't matter, you know. But then the, 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 he is like a kid-friendly kind of thing now, and there somehow Twitch's algorithm had a porn thing on, as the very first option to, to check. Um, and that's where I, you know, Ninja was like, this is unacceptable, like, this is ridiculous. Like, you're, you're tarnishing my brand name. I'm surprised that there was any like suing or anything. There might have been talks and you know, like, things Did, like legal teams been like, do we have any grounds to like, my name has been like misused or something? Yeah. Yeah. And so he's the only streamer that has that. Yeah. Like suggestion. Yeah. Really? Which is fucked up. Like he's the only guy that. And that's yeah, like there's a, you can't like turn it on and off or anything like that. Like or at least from my understanding, like it's not a thing. Um, which is which is strange. And uh, you know, the, there's been talks like people that aren't. It's not an official thing, but people that work with Twitch are saying like, you know, there's there's studies where it's like. If someone goes on Twitch and they don't immediately start seeing like something that, that to intake like some footage, they they'll they'll leave to another website, and they they you know it's always about re retention like they want to keep it. So that's why with ninjas, he was a big person that brought in a lot of people. They wanted to retain those people by suggesting other videos they can watch, other people, other live streams right. they can watch, which is one of the big reasons why specifically ninjas was was switched over to that. But yeah, when that when that issue happened, like it's. It, yeah, it's tarnishing his name, you know? So it's like, should a streamer own, like, these things? Because the thing is, Twitch, Twitch is, Twitch's website is Twitch, you know? Like, it's, but that URL to that page is his content, you know? So it's I think it's one of those, like, fine print things where it's like, anything, like, Facebook has, it's like, any photos you upload here are has, ours. Is, so, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm sure Twitch and YouTube and some of these have, Things like yeah. that, similar to it, maybe looser or tighter or whatever. But but do you think that should be changed? Do you think like yeah, the, I, I the URL should should not be it should be owned by the person that that created this content and made this? I don't know about the URL. I just mean in terms of like if if my page is changed against my consent for any reason and it's showing content that is not acceptable per the same rules of that website, mm -hmm. I think there's like. Whoever that party is that changed that, if they're if they're able to be found, there's something that should be happening. Right. Um, like I said, but I think legal action of some mm -hmm. sort, because yeah, it's like damages, because like his name is a brand, and if he so he's 
I, I definitely feel like it's more like what can the, the owner or the brand or the name or the user, how well prepared are they to, to battle it? When you're with someone like Ninja where your name exists beyond Twitch, I know it's associated with Twitch, but he exists like when you think Fortnite, you don't, not just with Twitch, but when you think Fortnite, when you think streaming, his name just pops up yeah. in his head. Um, so it goes beyond the platform. Mm -hmm. And I think he has more ammunition than someone else might for the same argument. But I, yeah, I think it's, 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 it's consistent for both people that are like that well prepared versus someone else. Right, right. What do you think, Jay? Like Marlo Stanford from The Wire said, my name is my name. And I feel like reputation is very important. I do feel like it is Twitch's website, but that's him, dude. Like that slash ninja, twitch.tv slash ninja is representing, representing him. And for them to show that on him, and it's kind of messed up. It's, he's the only guy that has that, that yeah, recommendation right. thing. So. Like I feel like you are part ownership. Maybe not 100%, but like 95%. Do you think it, there's a similar, like, I'm just thinking out loud. If, let's say, you have a show on TV, on like, like NBC or Comedy Central, or something, and you, you don't know what ads they're running, and they run an ad that, like, is very something you don't support, like, I don't know, you're, whether you're pro choice or pro life or something, like, they run something, and you're like, I don't, like, why are you running it during my block? I feel people are going to start associating the two, mm -hmm. and like the, like I, I think that's similar. Maybe I don't know. Do you guys would you guys agree? Um, and do you think that there's anything that sh the show owners could do or say about that? Do that's a tricky situation because they're the owners. It's, it's like, like a network. Working. Yeah, you're kind of working for them. Is it? Would you say that? All I'm pointing at you. I meant the Twitch. Like Twitch is like a network. And yeah, that's what I was saying. Like the thing is, yeah, Twitch is a network. Like, but it, the it's the same. Is, the problem is they're going against your TOS. Like they're they're they have like this double standard. Where yeah. Like, we're strict with this, with this, yeah, and this, yeah. but we do this. Like we over. Is that this. is that referring to the porn thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was like I mean that the, obviously if they saw that they would take it down, but it, it's mm -hmm. not like they don't have someone. It's like a combination of looking things. up. Yeah. Right. So it was. I mean the, the the whole concept that I'm pretty sure what happened is. People saw that Ninja was being used as an advertisement, sure. and, the, and the people understood that if you put Fortnite is what you're streaming, you have a chance of being on his page to be to be recommended. So I'm pretty sure there's a freaking troll who obviously paid porn, had like he had part of a team of people or bots or something that viewed it to make it algorithm, video. yeah, manipulating it, manipulating the algorithm to pop up on there. Because the thing is, that channel would never normally stream porn because it would immediately be banned. You know. So it was just like a fluke and, and... Right, but it still happened under Twitch's like roof. Right. So I think there is some sort of... While it isn't Twitch that did it, it was Twitch that like neglected it or facilitated it happening through whatever its things are. And it's a problem. Yeah. Um, for multiple reasons. One, for that not being flagged sooner, the, the content on whatever the original page is. And two, for that content somehow finding its way onto this guy's platform. Mm -hmm. But I do... Th I mean... I think it says something about like what we've talked about with past stuff, where it's like, hunt, like, do they don't have good rule systems or parameters for guys that don't disrespect or the girl, you know, and the animals and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, or other people too. The, the I mean, she was a YouTuber, the other one with the dog. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but like having a clear cut set of rules and then also holding them, being able like, when you're becoming an affiliate or something, like, the amount of legal. Ob legally obligating documents that support both sides. It feels like it's very one-sided, like this, the service, the provider, mm -hmm. has all the cards right now on streaming. Because it's such un uncharted waters in terms of like what, how it should be handled. Like, I think people like Ninja and some of these other guys are starting to realize like, hey, I'm, I'm like a network show, yeah. and so I need to be treated like such. I have royalties, I have branding, I have you know, my name, you know, like what, like what Jane was saying. So I think it's hard when, f for them it's easier, but and it's still a challenge, but like the, the up and comer, yeah, the person who's just like, I'm just trying to start, what about them? Like what's there to protect them? And I don't think Twitch or some of these have the resources to support all of them or to protect, like, 
or the people also don't have a, um, don't know how to protect themselves. They're just like free service to stream on. And yeah. It's just like haha. You know. It's funny too because you brought up like the the TV like commercials like the the network or the people like who's ever show it is mm -hmm. they don't have a say on what it they might not. I, I mean I'm sure if they have clout and yeah. they have like some pull then they can. Yeah. But like if you're like like then, 11 p.m. like. But then in, in the um, on the uh, on the side of. Uh, internet like mm -hmm. it seems more like the the it's almost like the advertisers have to say on yeah. what is shown on the content you know because like like what do i want to be attached to yeah exactly like you know the whole thing with beauty and people were like and, and you know after it's like no i don't, don't want to be on that yeah. guy's channel which is I, I like this is kind of funny like how you know what it's one way on, on one platform one way on the other platform but um i i, I agree with you that's a great um uh, analogy with when it comes to like the, the TV and, 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 and commercials and it's the same thing like consider Twitch as, as a network you know and they're able to 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 show whatever advertisements they feel that they, they can to, to make money you know it's crazy because it's like it's the, the, I feel like the root of what makes these platforms so great in our generation is how easily accessible they are, YouTube, Twitch, Mix, or whatever. But the detriment to them is how, like, they can't they can't facilitate or structure things to to support or protect or yeah. whatever for all of those same people. It's like if we're making this free, then yeah, kind of like wobble. I'm, I'm going to defend Twitch here because um, you're controversial. Because you're talking about uh, well, in a specific aspect, the the fact that you're saying like Ninja's the only one that's had his channel showing ads or showing different um, promoted like his channel promoted other channels after he was gone. Well, the thing is, like things that he didn't decide. Correct. He didn't. Because you can pick that. like oh, when I'm not on, I'm hosting. Exactly. Or like like um, even if that's the case, like if you go to PewDiePie's channel, who's a who's a big streamer, uh, he's not exclusive. He's to a streamer. Switch. He's he's streaming. Oh yeah, I'll give him Devo. Yeah, so he's not exclusive to just Twitch. He's used he's used Twitch as a platform to stream before, um, but when he's not streaming on there, they're not using his his, his yeah. channels. But the thing is, there's no certainty on that channel because he's never said like, "Oh, I'm permanently right." right. It's not familiar. Yeah, the only one that but we've even, seen at this at this level is is Ninja. He's but the even only then, one like when it happened to him, it was after he was like left, like not affiliated anymore. Right. So I, I mean. But the thing, but the thing it is, didn't it happen was, while he saw his check mark. Right. But so, when you went to his channel, when you went to the Twitch TV that that slash Ninja, it, it it didn't show any of his content. It just said this person's in another castle, and then it shows like a line where it just showed like here's recommended videos. Right. That's all it shows. So it didn't like it doesn't show like you're on Ninja's page. It doesn't but show any of that. To my knowledge. Other streamers that left Twitch for different platforms, it'll say this person's in another castle, but it won't have, oh, it won't okay. have that in recommendation. Okay. That's, that's, what, that's what I heard from the H3H gotcha, gotcha. podcast. Okay. Yeah, what I was just saying is with Ninja, it, it was for sure. Like, he's like, he made an announcement, I'm moving the mixer. So Twitch should be like, he's not fucking coming back. Let's advertise, you know, some things on his That's the thing that bothers me about Twitch. Why burn bridges? It's like, him ninja leaving is not permanent. You can always he can always come back. Yeah, like his page is his page. For Twitch to like, do that, like you're burning a bridge, and I feel like ninja. Won't, I mean, if things don't work out, I don't think he's coming back to Twitch. Like it's so that I'm also sure though that Twitch probably knew like they know the contract length, if anything. So like they're just like. Well, maybe they don't know, but they like they have to have like some idea. Like this guy's not gonna be back for five years. Like regardless, like the contract he has is five years. We but you don't burn bridges. You I no matter, no matter what. Like. But I don't think so. The 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 thing is, Ninja. I think he said like he didn't have an issue with that. But the fact that the porn thing came up, you know. Which, yeah, I mean, his channel's kids. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like what you're saying. But that was. I think that was abused by a troll. But yeah, like the fact that they. But that. I don't, but it's like. I don't know. I letting don't, it happen. I don't blame Twitch. Like I understand that they did that, but the 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 procedures it was bound to happen. You know, like it's well, just something, but you never think of it. Because it was the, so. The H three H three said that porn channel was up two hours for two hours. But the, they they had to know how the algorithm works and set it up. But yeah, like the you know no one whoever was. But it's like okay, this I would say the same. Someone should be checking these things the same way YouTube 
flags people for copyrights. Like I have nothing copywritten that's like why are you right. why am I flagging? And they're know, like that's on that's on the platform side to like why they need to fine tune whatever their algorithm is. The, the thing is that like Twitch has used like the fact that there are like thousands of minutes uploaded a second, like you, they can't manually go through. But they should be able to check the top. Like if it's showing up in the top, I so it so was H three saying that it was on that top list. So for only two the hours? top top it was under Fortnite category. Only the top Fortnite. Yeah, and it was there for two hours. Well, that thing was running for two hours. I don't know if that thing was yeah. showing up on this. So I think within those two hours, they were using bots or whatever it was whatever to 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 control the algorithm yeah. to make it get to the H, top. I mean, it highlights a flaw on Twitch's side. Yeah. What I'm saying. And so they're at some point accountable for that. Like, if you have a flaw in your system, right. it's not like, well, it's not my fault. It's like, they no, it's like, can't. it's my fault. They can't ban themselves <laughs> for two weeks. Like, they gotta be like, yeah, it's, it, it's, it happened at our store and or, our, the, or whatever. But it's like the this, first time. The apology from that CEO is has it Like, the first time this on this scale, exactly. on that front, but uh, the people have done porn before and yeah. they've, they've had to get a flag. It's an, like, they need to pay attention to that problem and put like more resources at like, okay, you can't, this is how far it could go. It could go onto someone's page that reaches children, right. and like what? A parent is gonna be like, "What the fuck is my kid watching?" Like I thought they were watching a kid-friendly thing, and then that could lead to things, and it just—it's bad reputation. Like on the on the. On no, the of course, but the thing is, like even Twitch or even YouTube, YouTube, someone can upload porn on YouTube. Yeah. You know, like, but it's just—it's on you. But part of it's on YouTube for being able, like letting that. Go. Right, but they can't watch everything. They have to wait until it gets reported and like until like someone yeah, finally has a Which I'm to saying, they, they fine tune. They have to learn, like, how can we do it better, faster? It's, it's, it's like, um, it's unless, an ongoing process. Unless it's automated, like with a computer, it's never going to be instantaneous. I'm, a, I'm not saying it's instantaneous. I'm just saying, whatever it is, it can get better and but it should get better. <laughs> But if, that's, if you're not saying it's instantaneous, it will always happen. Like, if someone's, so if someone's able to control their algorithm, it'll always pop up somewhere. And, like, it's just, it, it, it's... How, okay, there's other ways, though, to mitigate it. It's like, okay, if it pops up, how can we prevent it from popping up in this way, at this, at this place of, like, elevated whatever? Like, if it gets so many viewers, like, it should be... There should be some way to flag content. Like, how does anything get flagged? I don't know. I'm sure. The, the, I'm sure people were flagging it, but it takes time for for someone to get the resources to look at this channel and be like, "Oh shit, that's porn. That's porn." And then we're ruined. Yeah, again, it's, I'm just saying it's improving. But, I, don't know, I don't know what we're disagreeing about. Well, no, because the, I guess what I'm what I'm stuck on is like you guys are blaming Twitch, but like it's bound to happen regardless. Obviously, uh, everything like piled up into one thing where like it was on this page, it was at the top. You know, but like you guys are like Twitch's fault. It is Twitch's fault, but like, but you gotta always try to do better. But it's like, not like they weren't trying. It's just like that's what I don't. I mean, I'm not saying they're trying. I don't know. The trying. apology was like half-assed, I think, and that's what just irks me about it. That CEO's apology about the whole situation. I was just like, hey, this is a half-assed apology. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, like I'm not for corporate, but I just—it's so strange to me how much we're attacking Twitch for this issue. I'm just saying, make your process better. But they are going to. How do we know? Well, like, I mean, who's like, them I, mean, I still think they're just I like. I still think Twitch I'm is. Gonna, um, dude, why would you recommend channels that are only on ninjas? Like, that in itself, like, it's not fair. Mm -hmm. That's the problem that I have with it. It's not fair. If you're gonna do that, do it for everyone that has left. But they've only did it to this one guy yeah. that had such a big following. So I do say it's fucking Twitch's fault, big time. It's just—it's not fair. Why would why do that? It's to his channel. I think going back to your original thing of do you own your URL mm -hmm. and your thing? I I would I don't know if it's just on Twitch, but I think there's not enough out there to make it like there's not enough structure right now to be like hey up and coming YouTuber, hey, whatever, here's how you protect yourself. Yeah. Here's how you protect your branding. There should be more education of that maybe. I don't know if the, I know YouTube has like a, like on at least on YouTube side, they have that whole like becoming a creator, the rules and guidelines so you can educate yourself. And it's very well detailed and it teaches a lot. I think Twitch should have some sort of, I don't know if they do, but they should have some sort of thing where it's like it educates you about what it is to be a streamer, 
here's some guidelines to follow, and like make it very easily accessible, not just like jargon. And I think that would help at least educate the, 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 the streamer be more informed when they're going on a platform. Like, how, how is this platform taking care of me? How am I taking care of myself? Yeah. What's, what's on me and what's on the platform? What's on the viewer? What, like, oh, I got you know, people being racist or jer jerks or bullying in my chat. How do I handle that? Like, yeah. some people don't know how to handle that and things got out of hand and it's like, oh shit. And, you, and like, I think across the board, just educating and you know, providing more like help. Right. It helps everyone. Like the, the platform, so by having by teaching other people the people, by becoming better streamers, having more of whatever they need so they protect themselves. And then the viewers for like not having to deal with bullshit yeah. and being like, I can just enjoy the thing. I agree with you that the structure isn't there to go one way or the other, but like what if the structure is there but like would you want it to go like the route of like T V where it's like the network usually owns the rights to like any content made? Or would you want it to do its own thing where the creator what specifically with I just wanted to have a set of rules, whatever they may be, and f stick to them. Like the biggest, like the other big thing is like if you're gonna have rules, you gotta make sure they're consistent and you're treating everyone the same. Because when they're like treating one streamer one way and another streamer another way, there's no rhyme or reason. Then it's like what the fuck? Like why does why does any of this matter? Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, I'm not gonna. Be, I don't have a preference personally. I, I hope whatever I feel like if their if their mission is to be like anyone can stream and everyone it should maybe be less like yeah. the the network stuff, but there should be something to be like. The way I see it though is like yeah. it's still bright, like this has been ongoing for a while. Yeah. Like, like when you when you people. look at it, like well not not just streaming in general. Yeah. But like if you compare it in like the the, the span of like when TV started, like this is like a, a newborn yeah. thing. Like, so they're still learning. And I'm pretty sure they obviously used Ninja's channel to test something. They're like, this is one of the highest, or the, the, the channel that brought in the most views. Let's see if we, can, if we can implement like a thing. So they obviously, I would assume they used that channel as a, as a test thing to start. Um, so eventually they would have, but I think this whole issue with like the, the, the porn thing coming up the top, they're probably gonna be like, you know what? Let's not do this. So I think they're not gonna do it on Ninja. Back to the drawing board. The, yeah, the back of the drawing board. So right now, I think I believe Ninja is back to his regular page. It'll say like it shows his headline and everything. Yeah, it just shows past past. And, and all his vlogs. Yeah, exactly. Um, and probably that's what it is on, on all the previous channels. Back to that that method too. But I'm pretty sure if this was successful, it would have rolled out to like other channels that were, where they're no longer streaming there, and it just shows vlogs of like what they're probably known for. They did something recently, though. I think around the same time as Ninja's announcement that I think kind of made it not do as highly. It was like you don't have to use other services to create a Twitch layout and broadcasting tools. So that seems like a tool. Like it's sort of like, hey, like don't go elsewhere. Like within Twitch, we're gonna help you with overlays. Oh, so within okay. Twitch, we can help you with okay. like. Uh, it's a dev kit sort of, yeah. but I don't know how open like they've made it or if it's a paid thing or what. Yeah, because right now you usually pay someone to create kind of a layout. Well, you can either or you just yourself, make some, but it's you go elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to Photoshop and create it, you know, or something like that. But like it was some package of like being able to do it all within Twitch. Nice. And I don't know if that's a step in that direction of like helping give tools to the to the users or not. I mean, I see it more corporate wise where it's like. They don't want people to leave. Like you know, if you leave the platform, you usually kind of stay out of the platform for a while. You know, so if I'm going to leave to create something on Photoshop, I'm going to stay there for a few days and come back to Twitch. Um, so you, you integrate everything into, into their own platform so that people stay there longer. Sure. You know, like stuff like that. So that's all I see. Obviously, I'm kind of worried though, mm -hmm. like what we were saying about like ownership of your brand and stuff. If you create those overlays and stuff in Twitch, and you are like, wait, I want to use this elsewhere. Is it maybe it's only for like Twitch affiliates? Yeah. That way it keeps it so it's. The like, thing is, like, yeah. I don't think there'll be a way. I'm, there might be a way for you to put it up to, to upload for people. Like, oh, let me be able to download your specific, what you created, you know? But I don't think it's automatic. So, like, if you make something and you don't share it, there's no way someone else can do it. But they can easily copy it. They'll be like, oh, it's. No, no, no. I don't mean someone else taking it. I mean, like, you taking your own. Like, I made this within mm -hmm. Twitch for myself. But wait, I, I might be going to Mixer or wherever else. I want, to, oh. I want to take it. And they're like, no, 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 this is Twitch's. Because you made it within Twitch. Right. You know what I mean? 
I don't see it happening, but it makes sense. Yeah, like Twitch can just be like. They you might know, be like you, you can Twitch. only use this if you're a Twitch affiliate. Yeah. You lose this if you're not. I just don't see. I don't see how that works. Like, if someone, if I were to create like a you know blue headline or whatever, and then I go to Mixer and use the exact same blue headline, I just I don't see how Twitch can fight. Even if they set up rule, like even if they set terms of service, so it's like whatever you create in Twitch is is Twitch owned. I don't think I don't I think, think they can reserve it. They're like, we might not, but if you're a dick to us or we want to be, a yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. The, the, like, like that's where they'll they'll go after you, obviously. But yeah, I think if like you didn't do anything to them and you move on, they'll just be like whatever. Yeah. All right, time we got got heated. <laughs> It's a, I, it's a wild pool. Every time we talk about like streaming or YouTube or whatever, it's like fucking wild pool. Yeah, you're both on my drone. I don't know. It's your fault. <laughs> we can go to the next topic. <laughs> that last topic was stressing me out. <laughs> but, uh, so, I've been playing Pizzage and it's stressing me out, man. Like, I dread it. When I play it, I dread it. So, I know games are meant to like relieve stress. But I'm pretty sure games have actually stressed you out. When have you been? I, I think I know yours. When have you been most stressed because of the games? I what was Destiny. Doing all the trials. Sorry. 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 See, that's the thing. I think when you think back, like, you don't remember how stressed. You know, you just remember, like, I had a stressful moment. Like, I can't remember, like, the most stressed I've been. I don't really play scary games. Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah. For me, actually, the one I think of more than anything is FOMO. Always the fear, the fear of missing out. And it's this fucking limited time, this or limited time that. It's like, if I don't log in this week, then I miss yeah, this. I and I'm like, why? Like, I would love to do this. Whatever, like, whether it's Pokemon, whether it's that, any game that's like, when it does that, it just, a little bit of me starts stressing out. I know you don't miss out on one thing the Tetris game. <laughs> Same thing with Splatoon. Like, no, know. I missed I missed a few of those. It's fucking one day. It's like I know. play play like thirty games in a day. I'm like fuck. Give me a weekend at least. Yeah, it's like Friday night, Saturday, spot six p.m. I'm like what? <laughs> okay, fine. Um, yeah, the, the the FOMO thing, like it it's it's like a, a, a double edged sword because it's like okay. On one hand, it draws attention to a game for whatever that specific reason for a week or whatever. To so like, oh, there's a hundred games out there. I want to play it for this week because it's a special event. But when like every week is a FOMO of a special week or something, that's like it loses the meaning of like special. Yeah. I feel like then I'm always like Pokemon does that a lot. It's like, oh, this week, shiny Pokemon are available of these kind, and then after that, there'll be less frequent. Mm -hmm. And this week, this is around. It's like. If you miss it, you miss it, but then, yeah. That stresses me out, like, on a passive level. Yeah. I would say games, like, like Destiny has had moments. There was, like, two things I was trying to do for a, a deadline of, like, a milestone, and, like, not even thinking about that deadline, just doing it, it was the most, like, I was just, ah, like, when you were, it was, like, do something, and, oh, when, it, when it's a timed event. Like, one of them was uh, a sniper quest, and it's, like, do this event in, 10 minutes, and I fucking got down to like 9 minutes and 50, yeah, 9 minutes, 55 seconds, and fuck, everything fucked me over, I was like, ah, fuck off, and I was like, ah, just rage. You can like, run out, like, I got this, and then you just like, whack, <laughs> you fly out, you're just like, alright, well, this is there goes last the minute seconds. of my time, yeah. <laughs> um, there was one, actually, recently, I was stressing out because I was useless to the team, it was like a three-man thing, and it was 15 minutes, fucking speeding through this level, and then there was this one part where you're like on the outside of a cliff and there's a little ledge like fucking this tiny and they're super far apart and there's no room for error. It, is this, this is like an actual part you have to do or this is like you have to do. It's, it's like the, the equivalent of that sniper but for a different gun, the outbreak part. Okay. We had to run through this thing in 15 minutes and then fight a boss room at the end. And I couldn't even get to the boss room. They're like fighting, I'm like, I'm useless. I kept doing, trying to do this jump, died. Respawn, jump, died. One minute's left, I'm like, I've done nothing, jump, died. I was like, I hate this, I hate this song. And then they do. <laughs> I was like, I, I felt like I could treat the jack shit. And I felt horrible. Yeah, you I was like, like shit, you, you get the reward and you're like, I feel so bad. They're all like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, Kuja, where are you? Where are you? I could have released 
the stretch for you guys if I just you know. <laughs> this is a few of mine. I've got to like love them all. What do you think? Yeah, thinking about it now, like yeah, most of it is, is like a FOMO type thing, like missing out like on a, on a, like uh, on a timed event or a timed exclusive. Um, but I think what's stressing me out is usually like RPG games because I I don't generally replay games. No. I just, it's this thing I don't do. I don't rewatch movies either. I've bought them, like so many Blu-rays that I've seen in theaters. I haven't even like they're still seen. Like I just don't want to watch them. You know, I just I like the fact that like I own it because I love that movie. You know, but I haven't really watched it. Um, and again, same thing with games. Like um, I know Nino Kuni was one of them. Like it had so many side quests, I didn't want to replay it. So I was like, yeah. I'm gonna play this game, but I want 100 percent it at the same time that I play it. So it's like, it's like what you're doing with your Armada. You know, like you're just <laughs> you're doing everything, but it's so much work. Like you, it's like almost destroying the experience. Exactly, exactly. Instead of moving in a nice smooth line, like I'm scribbling the line to make sure I'm covering everything up. You know, and it's. It causes me to take way longer to, to play through the game. All I'm saying is my second playthrough is going to be great. No side quests? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. You don't understand. Yeah, you don't understand. <laughs> don't understand. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like that's, that's one thing is, is, is just, I've, I've pretty much quit playing certain games because it was just so much to do. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just... I'm oh, so overwhelming. Yeah, uh, overwhelming. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you enter the first town, Dude, 100 side quests. So, so, I feel like I have to replay Witcher because on... So I have, like, a save on PS4, a save on PC. On PC, I don't know where I'm at. Like, I... <laughs> so I... So you start on an island, yeah. you can eventually leave that island. I, I didn't even leave the island the way you're supposed to. I, like... I found a quest and I'm like, I'm gonna do this quest. Like, I'm doing everything in order, so I'm like, I'm gonna do this quest. And it tells me to like take a boat and just go in in a direction. And eventually, like after you swim far enough on a boat, you realize like you're on another island now. And now I like I, you get off the boat. I'm like I'm following this trail that the quest line tells me to do, and I'm far away from the starting zone where most of my quests are at for this other quest by itself. And I haven't played that <laughs> since because it's so far away. <laughs> wow. And everything's like higher level now. Yeah. Like, and on that like island or whatever. <laughs> Damn. It's like I've I another. I've replayed really that game so many fucking times, and it's literally I stopped at the exact same first <laughs> hour and a half. And I'm like, should I keep playing? Or? It's the moment that it opens up, right? Because I'm not even there. there. I'm not even there. Wow. I'm literally I ride a horse into this town. I learn how to play Gwent, oh, yeah, yeah. and then I take a quest, and then I'm like, I'm, t I'm gonna play later. <laughs> and then every time I get back, I'm like, I don't know how to do anything, because there's like a spell sword, and there's a regular sword. And I'm like, I should just restart. And I get to that point again, and I'm like, Yeah, you'll do a lot of quests on the island. Once you like finish that, they like, it's like, go to this place, go to this place, yeah. go to this place, and each spot is like that area yeah. all by itself. And you're just like, Oh god, yeah. oh god. <laughs> <Cyberpunk>. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any ones besides scary ones? Um, I don't know, just like hard trophies or like achievements. Like, they kind of stress me. Or time. Time yeah. ones. Time, I hate time. Yeah. Oh, dude. Well, the time for this one is like, because Uncharted, oh, any yeah. of the of the Naughty Dog games, apparently the, all the multiplayer stuff is about to end in September. Oh, yeah. yeah. Multiplayer trophies. I mean, so, it's not it's not stressful. It's just, but if you're looking to plan on those, like you gotta get those out of the way now. Like, if that's something you plan on doing, because mm -hmm. in September, which is coming up, coming up, they could just remove those. From. Okay. I don't know if they'll do that. Though. I don't know. I know there's games that have had their online removed and they never removed the trophies. Hard hard trophies stress me. Mm -hmm. I know one fucking thing that stressed me out. It was time. It was Titanfall two. When I was, it was the bronze fucking no, trophy. I had, to, like, do, I had to do that speed run through the trial. Were you going for gold on that? No, I was, no, just, it, no was it was a trophy. It was a it bronze trophy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it should have been fucking the platinum. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else was fucking cakewalk. It's like beat this and game. And you have to beat the best time on that. You have to be in the top three. Minutes. You have to be in the top three. And but it's still four minutes, right? Have you done with that? The Call of Duty one? Or the, the Target? Warfare? Warfare? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which one's harder? This. Yeah, I would say because I did that. The only thing I'm missing in Modern Warfare is 
there's there's uh there's quests where like they set you in a in a position where like crazy enemies come out. Yeah. I, and yeah. I haven't finished. That was the other stressful time. Yeah. Was doing those with my brother. There's like these really? tank guys that come I out. I fucking <laughs> hate those guys. Because <laughs> all so goddamn much. gong it hits every time. It's like oh. boom. I'm like fuck, fuck, fuck. And then no, 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 like, oh, there's two of these things. <laughs> my brother's like, oh, we got him, we got him. <laughs> they fucking like flashbang us and eight together things. I was like, what the fuck, lad? And like we panic and we shoot the wrong shot and everything. We're like, ah! yeah. And the thing with me is, I was doing it with Roberto, and then eventually he ended up doing it on his own with another buddy. And so he never needed to do it. I'm like, you fucking bastard. He left me in the dust, and I never finished that. I never got him with that. That was stressful. But the <laughs> time for one was like. I'd never done so much maneuvering because it's not just the shooting. You had to like run, sh jump, shoot, slide, throw a grenade, not even look, yeah, jump, slide, jump, 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 yeah. jump. It was like, what? And I, the fact that I did it finally was amazing. But so like, the biggest thing it was so in front. I was like, I just don't care. It's anymore. an obstacle course, but you can't just do that with the course. Like there are if the like target dummies that come up, and you have to take out every single target dummy that comes out. So you eventually you memorize where the hell these guys are coming out from. Those are like. Part. Yeah, yeah, so that's the easy Excellent. part. But then you have to, like, Excellent. ace every maneuver. Like, you have to wall jump, jump. It felt like a 3D version of a Mario Maker level. Like, you have to be flawless. Yeah. yeah. I, that stresses me out when, when a thing requires you to be flawless for, for such a long period of time. What's insane, though, is, like, like all like that, a no just to get top three. Like, imagine, like, there's no trophy to get top one, but, like, I know there's people that are like, I want to No, there's people, I've watched those videos, and I'm like, how? Yeah, How did you exactly. shave two seconds off that time? Yeah. There was no more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I tried that, but I never got down like how that maneuvering worked. So I was like, you know what, like, Very good. you know, like tenth place is fine for me. Playing in a tournament is kind of stressful. I don't know, it's like nerve wracking. It is. It is a different experience. You don't expect it. Yeah, it's yeah. just the adrenaline. But it's, it's a relief when you get right, you know, kicked out right. of the house. It's so tired. Like, it was so weird having people watch you yeah. and have it all be on the like, wrecked. And then I'm like, <laughs> why am I not performing? I can perform better than this. And then you get off the, the game and you're like, who who just played? Was that me? <laughs> I play like that. And then I'm at home and I'm like, oh, look, 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 look. I'm like, yeah. why couldn't they do this? Yeah. I've been supporting stars too. All eyes on me. $12,000. <laughs> um, oh cooperative games like Overcooked? That's definitely stressful. When it's like not in your control. I feel like it can be. I guess like, it's funny because it, you know what you're doing, but when you're playing with a friend who like, either it's like their first time or they're just not like, you know, and it's just like, you just do it like this. Like, it's not always that too. It's also like I've had that happen, but the other cases like they're competent, but it's like you're thinking totally differently. Yeah. And you're like, we need to get on the same page. And I don't care which page it is, but like one of us needs to change. And like not being able to change and not wanting like just that conversation. It's like fuck. <laughs> it just rises the blood. And it's like ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. Um. <laughs> Well, this happens to me always on Mario. Like just even regular Mario, not Mario Maker. I'll do a level, and then I'll make. I'll just be like trying to speed through it, rushing through it. I'm like, okay, hold, but I'm going to fucking skip, and I'll make one dumb mistake and die. And then I am, and then the tilt that happens. It's like so Mario like for me that it always happens in those games where I'll be like, oh, fuck, I can fix it. Okay, so I try to rush it again and I die even sooner because I'm like being reckless now. And then I'm like in this cycle of like, why can't I beat this stupid level? Yeah. And it's, it's only Mario that I feel this strongly like that feeling. I know it's in other games, it's applicable, but yeah, I can, the Hollow Knight, just get on tilt. With, with Hollow Knight? Monster Hunter. <laughs> the, the, the Behemoth, that's one. Mm. No, just like, when, whenever you're fighting off, like, no, 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 oh, yeah, those, but, like, even when it's, like, if a match starts going wrong, like, you get on yeah. tilt, everything just starts misaligning, like, Diablos will be like, he'll knock you down, and you're stunned, and then he'll ram you again, and then you're like, oh, I gotta sharpen, and then you fucked again, and you're like, <laughs> and why is he comboing me? Like, I get, like, Devil Joe is another one. It, it happened to me in the, uh, when we were doing, uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con, with yeah. the, the export. Yeah, I got comboed, like, it started with, he did a jump, and I was not near his wing, but it hit me. So I get rolled over, and then he goes into the rage, like, triple, like, he turns around, comes back, and I'm still getting up, so I jump, 
into his direction because I thought he was coming after me. Went after someone else, so I jumped towards that person, and he hit me again. And then he just like tell swipes me, and I'm just like, fuck off, you know, like fuck bitch. off. And I'm like, and the first, and I'm like, the thing is like, I'm playing with all these people, I don't know, I'm like, I don't want to look like an idiot. Don't look like a stage. You know, streamer. Like, <laughs> thought you said you were advanced. Yeah, never talks to me again. Doesn't so know why I didn't want to forget you. He's following. <laughs> but yeah, so. But the, 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 the frustrating part for me is like, with that game it doesn't show, or the stressful part is it doesn't show health. So there's times where like, the, you know, like you're down, like you're about to give us a time limit, and you just like, you're like, I'm gonna put everything I got to it, like don't even care about getting hit, like, I, like you just start hitting them, and like, you're just like, it has to be any moment now. And, and it's time ends. Away. <laughs> and then time ends, you're like, sad cat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another one too, but it was like stress and exhilaration at the same time. Is Modern Warfare when they had kill streaks? Oh. And so you're like you're trying to get like you know you're like let's say like one of your max kill streaks. Yeah. Strong. Or or that too like when you use a care package you're just like no one kill me I need to pick my own package. Oh, yeah. up. <laughs> but for me it, yeah for me it was like I, I would always put like the helicopter as my max one but that would probably like what, 15 kills in a row. So I'd be like at like 13, I'm like, don't kill me, I need to kill two more of you. Yeah. And you just like, dude, I would get up off my fucking couch. You know, I'd stand up and be like, just. <laughs> when it, the pressure, when, it, when the pressure's on you, it's, it's crazy. Because like, I think of like a Destiny raid, there's times where they're like, okay, you have a role, you need to perform in that role. And I'm like, fuck, don't fuck this up. The reason this fucks up. I'm almost like more happy when things fuck up and it's not me than us even succeeding because I'm like, it takes some of that pressure off them, like, okay, you guys aren't as, like, godly as I thought you were, and it brings me down to, like, a more casual level. And, like, it just does something to my psyche, I'm like, okay, some people need to fuck up, not me, <laughs> to make me feel okay, and then we can, like, all get on the page. So I, I feel like everyone's been, like, all right, we all, like, fucked up. Yeah, World of Warcraft for you was, was the stress, the most stress for me, like, I, cause I, I know people can do um, mods and stuff to like look yeah, at Yeah, but I've never. Well, yeah, yeah. They, They're they not do, pulling your way, uh, they, they have a damage meters, and so like it'll show like who's doing the most damage. And I knew I was never, I was never the top for that. Um, but it was frustrating because it's like I want to be good, and these yeah. guys are willing to have me on their team. Yeah. Um, and I just I can never perform as good as like you know some of these players. And it's it's the main thing is because my my macro management was terrible. Like mm. I don't hit buttons at the right time. Like it's all about timing. Like there's cooldown, so yeah, if I hit yeah. a button, I have to wait for a cooldown to finish. Um, and so I you know and there's an order to my attacks because if I don't if I'm out of order, the cooldowns are further out and stuff like that. And so you you have to learn what the rotation is. And you have to hit the buttons at the right time. Even though, even though I learned my rotation, they'll be like, you get concentrated on something. Because like, there's there's lob, there's like damage happening on the ground, you gotta dodge it. So there's a like, lot of shit. Oh fuck, happen. I forgot to hit like my attack button. And you go back into it again, you, you're already messing up your rotation, you look back up and you're like, oh <laughs> shit, I'm on the fucking lava. And you move out of the way. <laughs> you, have to, like, you have to protect the healer, and you turn around, he's like half dead, and you're like, whoop, he's fucking gone, you know? Like, <laughs> I mean, so it just. <laughs> It's just piled up. You're just like, oh, like everything is fine. <laughs> and then you know, and then that you wipe, and then someone just is like, fucking Daniel. Disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> You've been kicked from the guild. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's like in Monster Hunter, like you die twice. Like, don't get a triple. <laughs> It's happened to me. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, that third one, I, the pressure is always on. Like, I don't want to be the third one. Like, again, it's like the, the Destiny rates for me, like, as long as someone else fucked up, I don't care. Like, we can fuck up. Yeah, it's funny when, like, like the monster attacks, but they're still next to you, and it kills him, and so you go, oh, thank God. No, it wasn't me. And, like, as long as you're like, that's shame. It's the worst. I hate it. I've been that guy. But yeah, it's a triple card game. <laughs> but the best though is when you know someone else triple cards and then blames you for using a you know, demo. <laughs> 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 
I almost I feel more pressure <laughs> while playing with strangers in triple party than I do with like just if we were just sitting here. Yeah, because we're just like we know each other. Like it's like. Uh, well, sometimes some people might be like, I'm. They're doing it competitively or seriously. No, yeah, yeah. Like uh, a friend of mine. And you guys play with. <laughs> He'll be known as Mr. B. <laughs> yeah, Joe Gorman. <Martin. laughs> World records and Joe Gorman. Yeah. <laughs> my heart rate's going. Talking about, about I you. forgot about the Call of Duty one. That one fucked me and my brother up so badly. We were like trying to cheese it too. We're like, wait, the body fell. They can't enter the door now because of some weird glitch. Just fucking take advantage of it. Pop, 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 pop. And we're like, we got this, and then gong, 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 like, three of them, what the fuck? <laughs> the hardest one was like, it was this, one. no, no, oh, I, I hate, that I hated that one, that one was like, it was the graveyard, Yeah. I hated that one, because there was like a part where you had to run, Yeah. and we're like, fuck, and that's, dude, we were so close, like, he made it through, but yeah. we both had to yeah, do you it, both have to do so it. I'm like, he <laughs> makes it down, so like, he's like, shot, oh. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> and we didn't make it, dude. Fine. And then you, the gong guys are coming up to you. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> the one that drove me nuts was the the, the oil rig, because uh, yeah. I never knew where the fucking bomb squad fuckers would come from. <laughs> I would hear it, I'm like, they look just like the rest of this thing. <laughs> we pull up in the spot, we're like, <sighs> it's like a horror fucking. <laughs> Call of Duty. I mean, they've done zombies. They should make a horror game. Though. Like where it's just like these like <clears throat> really tough things. Oh. So I've made a decision not to pre-order games. So I I'm not like Final Fantasy VII. Did you Final Fantasy VII remake? Haven't pre-ordered it. Death Stranding? Haven't pre-ordered it. I'm gonna wait to see reviews. Like I don't want to be fucked over anymore, dude. And and because Modern Warfare, one of the biggest ones is Modern Warfare. Like the the original was one of my favorite games, dude. Like I played that shit so much. And now that they're doing like a remake of it, like they're redoing like, or not a remake, but they're doing Modern Warfare. Warfare. No, they're, it's, a, it's like a whole new game, but like they're bringing it oh, back. Oh, yeah, to yeah. The, mm -hmm. They're bringing like the, 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 the first person shooter style back to that original the way it was, like with kill streaks rather than like gathering up points to get enough of a, of a, of a, of a special like um, attack like that. And like I really want to get it. Like it's, if it's anything like that, but the thing is, like I don't know until I pick it up. I would just, know? I don't know, a year to miss out on the pre-order. I would pre-order it. If it sucks, cancel. It. So that's the thing, though. Like that's the that's why they do the pre-orders. They want you to pre-order because they'll they'll give you special items and stuff like that. But I don't want that to dictate what I buy and what I don't buy. So I have to just forget about pre-orders. You know? Like those special pre-order items and stuff like that. Like this trending, they're giving you like gold gear or whatever. Gold. Gotta forget about it, dude. I am never gonna get the baby. Nah, dude. We're stuck into this standard thing. I wanna know when other game that comes out to play. <laughs> 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 nah, no, I like the pre order bonuses. But that would be a whole different so. Yeah. I think the Yeah. It's it's case I don't know, different companies of course are different. I don't wanna be a big let us know where the company where you could you touch it. <laughs> uh, guys, where can people find you? They can find me at the Philia Edward in Ireland. At the Last Bosses Edward. Come here, could you find me? Find us all at the VLC. Uh, check out our Facebook, SoundCloud, everywhere. Uh, if you have any questions you want to hit us up privately, uh, we have an email, ask the at gmail.com. Hit us up if you have anything, or anywhere on all these channels. And until next time, we'll. DLC. Mm -hmm.